Hello everybody, my name is Jamie and uh, I'm new to Let's Playing. This is just going to be a test video that I put up on my YouTube channel. Right now I just set up for the very first time my snowball mic and I just bought some sort of external hard drive and I'm not entirely sure how this will work out or if you will actually be seeing this, but I'm just going to talk to you like you will. So we are playing Full Mojo Rampage and um, I'm kind of bad at this. What this is, is it's kind of a twin stick shooter rogue-like game. First what you do is you select a quest. It's a pretty hard game and I'm pretty bad at it so I haven't actually beaten the first one yet. So we're going to play the first one. Every quest starts with this little bit of story. Uh, this one, this bare insanity guy is a little too drunk and he left open some portals that are spawning monsters and you have to close them. And if you close them, you'll gain favor with this voodoo god guy. All right, so here we go. We're gonna play the first cemetery. I kind of want that mask on the right. Okay, so you move with uh, WASD and enemies are gonna spawn. Oops, here's a chest. You, oh, yay. I'm rich of two gold. Oh. Ooh. So that that I just showed you was my right click power. Oh, here's a portal already. Jeez, I didn't even get to explain anything. So yeah, these guys, you know, spawn and are annoying and try to kill you. My right click ability is kind of just a more powerful shot that I fire in the direction that I was facing. And these, if I can get close enough, I will try to show them to you. There's these, these like totem pole looking things, and those are the quote unquote portals. These green orbs that I just picked up, that's what they mean by health orbs. Um, some enemies drop them, and some don't. I just picked up a metal, and what that does is they're randomly dropped when you do something important, like when you close, usually if you close a portal you get a metal, too much is happening that I can't explain. All right, I'm gonna talk about metals while I do this. So, when you do important things, you get a metal. Um, generally, closing a portal will get you one. Sometimes, if you saw there were some larger looking enemies that were glowing a certain color, they're like more powerful than the regular enemies. Sometimes killing one of those guys gets you a metal. Usually killing a boss will get you a medal. I'll show you that two levels from now if I actually make it there because I'm bad at this game and or it's hard. Yeah, so that's about medals. And the point of collecting the medals is that you can unlock different masks like this nifty one that I have. And you can also unlock the different Loas, which are like the voodoo gods that give you powers, blah, blah, blah. They're like the different characters in Binding of Isaac. Um, what also happened a little while ago, this guy, I'm gonna go on a different tangent, this person is very annoying. This little skeleton dude, not this one. Um, I don't know if another one will pop up, I hope not. But the little skeleton dude who was kinda shooting me with a beam and it was keeping me in place, it like slows down your movement and sucks your health at the same time. Incredibly annoying. And they have a very, very far range. So I've been picking up some items along the way. That's what else I was doing. All right, I'm gonna close this portal because here, I'll let you get a better look at it. Can I actually, ah, oh, fuck. You can see it's a little skull on top of this totem pole looking thing that has some voodoo pins in his head. Very cute. I really like the aesthetic of this game. I hope that voodoo becomes the next big thing after zombies and um, open world survival games. So I found another medal, and now after you do this kind of stuff, then you have to fight your way home. And I don't actually know where home is. Usually a little uh, pop-up comes up on the screen. You may have noticed there were some yellow exclamation points earlier. It pops up your quote-unquote objectives. Ah, here we go. And I, like I said, I don't know if you can see my cursor. I'm circling it, and if not, in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a little green hut-looking thing. I have to follow that marker, and it'll take me to wherever I have to go 
to go through the portal and end the level and get to the next one. Ah, here it is. And here's a guy and another dude. Check this chest. Oh, great. I've really been getting crappy things from chests. Oh, here's another one. Maybe I'll get something better in here. No, just this... Not that you have anything to base your opinions off of, but these are really measly amounts of gold for you to be seeing. <laughs> Usually I get like 20 gold or something. So this is another level where the goals are to close all the portals. There are a couple different kinds of- oh fuck. Jesus. Yeah, these things that I'm getting stuck in that guy, that guy right there with the little hat, he's very annoying because he holds me, slows me down, and takes my HP, and he can like zap all of the other enemies that are around and restore their HP. It, I hate him. I'm being a little bad at dodging just because these enemies are kind of all at the bottom of the screen. Here's some zombies that we didn't see in the first level, I don't think. Uh, for the first two levels, the enemies are kind of the same. They're these little, these skeleton guys, these skeleton wizards, the ones that shoot fireballs at you, the ones that suck your health, the ones that, little skeletons that like run up to you, and uh, the zombies, and occasionally you get, we saw one in the other level when I went to the totem, it was like a fat guy with a backpack and he threw crystal bombs. I have no idea what the names of any of these things are, mostly because they don't tell you. But that guy who threw the crystal bomb, sometimes there's those. Then you fight the first boss, whose name I forget, but he's a giant skeleton. And then you get to these things called the bayou and swamps, and then you have completely different enemies. Oh. Here, okay. These are one of the guys I was telling you about. The big multi, like, they glow kind of a little bit of color. Sometimes when you kill these guys, you get a metal too but not super often. What is that? Is that my home portal? Oh, fuck. Uh, sorry, I have to concentrate a little bit because I've just been completely being even worse than I normally am at this game because I'm trying to talk at the same time. Okay, let's see what this is. Again, oh, another shrine. All right, I can talk about this. You didn't get a chance to see it in the last level. Oh, I've never been to this guy's shrine before. Oh, these, this is what on the loading screen, they told us these are really rare. So I found one, so hopefully this is going to be really good. I'm going to be a little disappointed if it sucks. Okay. I have an amulet now. Plus 19 damage, plus 10% health on kill. Ooh, the 10% health on kill is pretty good. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, the loading screen, I didn't read it, but the loading screen just told us that these guys' shrines were really rare. So, I'm pretty stoked to have found that. Yeah, you didn't get a chance to see it on the last level, but there are these random little portals um, that sometimes will, you know, take you to a shop or wherever. You can find shops, you can find shrines. Um, I am not sure what else you can find. Alright, what I just picked up here... Ooh, okay, this is strange. This is an elemental wand. Projectiles plus two weapons last longer, all right? You can pick up wands that are also like buffs. Oh, this, I'm sorry, this is not a really quick run. Uh, okay, these little guys running around here, you kill them, you also get voodoo dolls. This one gives me plus five spell power. Uh, okay, oh fuck, okay. A bunch of giant dudes, and this weapon kind of sucks for those, and I'm stuck in a corner, and I hate my life. Okay, let's go. Yep. Yay! Alright, I have this thing. Um, we'll burn nearby enemies, okay. Here's a metal and a rubber chicken. This gives me speed plus 0.5. Um, I'm not going to use that because it's not particularly useful. I don't know what this is. Is this the... You must finish the quest to open this door. Oh, okay. I found the home portal thing. Yeah. It's worth it sometimes to keep the items that you don't necessarily want. 
because if you find a shop, you can sell them for gold, and like I said earlier, the gold carries over between games, so that allows you to buy more pins. God, I hate those stupid bomb guys. Ugh. I kind of don't like this wand because the range is a little short. Here, this is the guy I was talking about before, this like fat dude with the weird backpack and the crates and shit. He throws some, um, I hate this wand, it fires so slow. There we go. What's this? Oh, great inventory increased. What's this one do? Okay, this one's a little better. Yeah, so you can also pick up these um, wand power-ups. But if you look in the left-hand corner, where my inventory and equipment screen and everything is, uh, at the very, very left is... Oh, I missed twice. Well, I guess I destroyed the... Oh, fuck. Oh, too many things happen and I have to explain them. So, this dude up here, this is the special buff that I have. Um... This is the special power that I have from having this god. This tall dude is actually the god who I picked at the beginning. And he's absolutely useless to me now because I finished the mission and my house is like right over there. But if you kill enough enemies, he uh, appears beside you for a certain amount of time and he'll attack enemies for you. But he actually kind of sucks. And it's kind of a shitty power. <laughs> so whatever. Alright, now we just have to backtrack, go back to the house. Hopefully no more enemies pop up. I'm a little mad that I wasted that power up though on this level when I finished it and had no more enemies because the next battle is the boss battle. The time before this I actually got all the way to the last boss and I almost won. Yes. Okay. So now you'll get to witness my second power that I haven't really utilized until now. Eventually, my space bar allows me to do like a fast dodge. This guy is Mandigo. I suppose that's how you say his name. Oh, fuck you, box. Ah, oh, my range is not how I want it to be. Yay! And I have a nice little medal. And gold falls from the sky. It's a little bit like being a prostitute. <laughs> Make it rain, bitch! Yes, a stripper. YOLO. Same diff. Okay. I started talking about this at some point, about the different kinds of level types. Uh, now is one that you haven't seen before. Gen- uh, okay, so... If it says graveyard, that means that you're going to be running around killing enemies trying to close these portals. Uh, this one is a dungeon, which means that I'm going into rooms and kind of doing combat with a room full of enemies, and then when I beat them, it opens and I go to the next one. This is a little bit more Binding of Isaac style. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm going to avoid this room. Okay, looks like there's one more enemy. Boop. Yay. 
Nova Sumos, a doo-doo. Boop, 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 boop. So yeah, what you're doing is, um, fighting your way. Unlike Binding of Isaac, there's no boss fight at the end of these kinds of challenges. So you're just trying to fight your way through these rooms until you find the exit. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck, I hate these. Uh, they have swords and they spin at you really fast. Oh, hey, a metal. I'm okay with that. Yes, I have some um, percentage of strength increase, so that's good. Oh. Oh, wow, that was a lot. Okay. Hello, what do you do? Uh, ooh, health plus 110. Sign me up for that. And I will gladly take this. This is awesome, actually. It's 110 health and a little bit of a speed boost. Oh, hey. Okay, yeah. I'm one level away from the final boss. And, um, I guess after I beat this Bayou level, then I can go to this shop and this random event. So yes, this Bayou Swamp, we're probably going to see some new enemies. Also, it gets a little harder. There are these really silly chicken enemies. <laughs> They're kind of funny. Some of them shoot eggs at you, and some of them... I mean, I don't know. They're kind of just reskins of the old enemies from the last levels. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. So I guess these larger chickens shoot an egg at you, and if it hits you, then it does damage, and then if it doesn't hit you, um, it spawns mini chickens. Oh, that's kind of cute. Um. The guy with the spinning egg is kind of like Yeah, I don't really know why there's chickens and why they're in the bayou, but, um, I don't know. I think chickens are a big thing in Fear Distance. Yeah, but I don't know why they're in this bayou level and not in the, uh... Man, I am just raking in medals left and right. I usually don't get this many medals. Whoop, oh, inventory increased. Oh, those are chicken spirits. I didn't know what they were. They're ghosts of chickens that when killed, I guess they have a really large percentage chance of dropping something. Like, I got two or three health potions from killing those kinds of chickens. I really don't understand why the chickens are all in this level and not any of the others, but whatever. Uh, so in the bayou levels, you kind of stop seeing those skeletons and you start seeing more of these, like, these chickens and these annoying things with the swords. I hate them. But also, I don't usually get hit by them that often, except for when I'm talking to you and not paying attention. Also, um, at the end of the screen, I don't know if you noticed, but they have a, like an accuracy percentage, and mine is really kind of sucking right now. Ah, oh, I hate when that happens. I when you kill, you fire your spell, and then you kill whatever you were firing your spell at before you, your spell actually fires, but <laughs> then I just kind of wasted it. <sighs> I just want to close your stupid portal. What the fuck? Okay. Ah, oh, little health orbs. Jesus. And these things are horrible, these spinning sword things in large numbers. Uh, the other run that I did, I was in the dungeon. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know that I want to change any of these, though. Is that a ghost chicken? Yeah, I said that already. I'm going to drop this stuff. I'm not going to use it. Uh, I'm going to drop that, too, because it's a horrible idea. So basically, I might save this magnet thing. And this uh, magnet, if you don't remember, I push the button and it repels enemies away from me. I might save that for the last level. Because um, the last boss for this is two snakes and they throw, like, spiders at you. So then these two really fast snake things are charging at you, and all these spiders are swarming you. Uh, speed is a little important there, and I kind of wish that I would get some other objects that affect my speed in this level, but, you know, can't really count on that. Oh, crap. But last time I died because I got super surrounded.
Where'd that big guy go? Ah, oh, fuck. They run off screen a little bit more in this, uh... Oh good, my inventory increased now that I dropped everything I didn't want. Okay. These maps are pretty huge. Um, if you look in the top right corner, you can see a little mini-map. And I did not even continue exploring in the direction, but I don't think I've ever 100% explored all of the map. Ooh, chicken, chickens. These spinning things. Like I said. Oh, oh they're like... Oh, are they I don't know. What? Hmm. I'm gonna use one of my health potions. Oh, God. That scares me every time because I think it's something horrible happening, but then it's somebody helping me, but kind of shitty helping me. <laughs> okay. And my house is this way. And look! Okay, this thing was standing right behind him, attacking him, and he didn't even kick it or whatever he does. Something that's a little bit annoying is actually trying to find your way around the map. Oh, what else is annoying about this guy who's supposed to help me is that he gets stuck on the environment all the time. I did it once where he spawned right in front of, uh, right before I went to go fight the last boss, and I couldn't even, like, walk him into the arena. Ooh, what's this? This looks grumpy. What do you do? Spell plus five, or speed plus point five, spell power plus point five. That actually kind of sucks, so I'm not going to waste my time with it. What do you do? Spell power plus 0.5. Yellow. I mean, I don't really have any more slots anyway. Um, when I pick up... I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, sometimes these enemies drop brown drawstring bags. That is what increases my inventory. And sometimes they will drop bags, little drawstring bags that have like a pink glyph on them, and the pink ones um, increase my equipment. And to have these passive ability items, I have to put them in the equipment section. So I don't have any more room right now, and I kind of like my setup. So I don't know. But then again, I dropped like a bunch of speed items, so I'll have to see how that goes. Although this plus 110 health thing might actually be really helpful. Oh. Uh, I like to kill whatever enemies are around this uh, house just for the experience so that I can maybe level up sooner. When you level up, you get to pick a permanent buff to either, you know, attack, health, attack speed, movement, whatever. Oh. Uh, sometimes there are chests around the end, but there are none over here, so I guess we'll just go. Alright, let's go see what that random event is. Okay. Some retro chickens have invaded another dimension. Would you like to deal with them? Alright, I will do this. I hope I don't die. Uh, oh, am I liking some weird pixel dimension? What? This is... Oh my god, I... I hope that the big chicken is like a capital C. That w <laughs> oh my god, they're everywhere! Yeah, oh. Okay. <laughs> You're doing fine. Oh. Oh, gosh. Crap, I almost wish I didn't do this. Okay, hello! Please die now. <laughs> oh my god. Chickens, chickens everywhere. Oh look, all my equipment and stuff is all whatever this is, too. I will take this. Inventory increased. Okay. Oh! Hello! The one thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't have a health bar. So, I don't really know... Okay, dropped a health potion. I'm okay with that. But yeah, I don't really know how long I'm gonna have to sit here and do this. Kill the big chicken. What is this 67 out of 120? How many chickens you killed? No. Oh, sec no. Something about seconds. I guess the big chicken comes out every 120 seconds. 
I don't really know. I've, I've, no, nope. yeah, that doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe I've, that's how much time you have? Yeah, but then you think it would be counting down. I have another wand, which, uh, oh, I still have my right click ability. This is, I am so sorry. I've never done this before, <laughs> so this is very awkward. Oh, look, my helper Loa guy came out. He's that little tiny helper. Yeah, I guess he's kicking the chicken. I'm okay with this because now I can just kind of sit here and shoot at him. He's actually much more useful in this level than he is in the regular ones. You failed the quest. What the hell? Oh, it was a time trial. It didn't really say that. Do I still have to just do this until it's dead? I guess so. Or maybe, I think maybe that was a challenge. Uh, I don't, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I killed it. Inventory increased. Okay, but now I have no idea where I'm supposed to go to, like, leave. How do I leave? Oh my god. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> okay. Boss fight, boss fight. Hmm. Boss level. Ew. Okay, so yes, this this boss has two worms. I've never beaten this game before, so it'd be really cool if my first time was. Yeah, that would be awesome. Ew, spiders. Yeah, I know. Ew. Ew. Everywhere. Although it's kind of neat that they gave you a uh, double shot pin for when you're fighting two bosses at once. You mean the wand? Oh, okay. Yes, the wand. I don't even like want to see my <laughs> accuracy. Ugh, and the. Uh. Use your bomb thing while we're all crowded together. What bomb thing? Oh, uh, your right click ability. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm mostly trying to focus on these. Oh, oh. Ew, they're laying eggs. Is yeah. The, sp the eggs are from the spiders. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. Carly, let me know about my help. You're, you're done like oh, oh, fuck. See, they do this, and it's not really fair. Oh, crap. They back you up into the corner. And they swarm me. Oh no! So close. <laughs> uh, it's just such a bullshit boss. Well, there you go. That is my first let's play of Full Mojo Rampage. And I came so close. Yet, I was so far. So, thank you. See you next time. <laughs>